The idea of conservation of momentum can be used to work out what will happen when two things collide. Conservation of momentum states that the total momentum of a closed system is constant. This means that the total momentum before a collision is equal to the total momentum after the collision. For example, an ice hockey player of mass 85 kilograms charges into a practice dummy of mass 250 kilograms with a velocity of 10 meters per second. Since the dummy is covered in glue, the hockey player and the dummy both move off together. Using the fact that momentum before equals momentum after, we can calculate the velocity of the combination to be 2.54 meters per second. There are two types of collision, elastic and inelastic. An elastic collision is a collision with no loss of kinetic energy. This only occurs on the microscopic level, where heat cannot be generated, such as the collision between two gas molecules. An inelastic collision is a collision with some loss of kinetic energy. This is usually the case with most collisions, because the kinetic energy is transferred into other forms such as heat and sound. For example, a particle of mass 5 kilograms is moving at 4 meters per second when it strikes a second particle of mass 10 kilograms, moving at 2 meters per second towards the first particle. After the collision, the first particle has a velocity of 2.8 meters per second in the opposite direction to which it was first traveling. Using conservation of momentum here, we can work out the velocity of the second particle to be 1.4 meters per second. Before the collision, the kinetic energy was 60 joules. After the collision, the kinetic energy was only 29.4 joules. This means there was a loss of 30.6 joules of kinetic energy. So the collision was inelastic. Thanks for watching. Make sure to hit the like button if you liked the video, and if you want to see some more, you can subscribe.